More often than not, when you start developing your report, you first have to get the data in the right shape before you can actually start building your visualizations. Now, this can be a big challenge, especially if things don't work out in the way that you expect them to work out. And this week's challenge, you have to turn rows into columns through pivoting. Sounds like just a click of a button. However, it's not that easy. Now, if you're visiting us for the first time, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our challenges. Now, let's get started with round five. For this week's challenge, we have data on all of the items that were ordered in an Indian restaurant over the period 2015 till 2019. And it contains about half a million rows and stored in a CSV file. Now, it looks like this. So you see that we have only two columns. Um, we always have the order number or the date, item name, quantity, and the product price, and how many total products there were in the order. Now you have to connect with Power BI to that CSV file and get it into this shape where we have the order number, the item name, quantity, as well as the product price, and also information on when it was ordered. So the order date and the order time. So you can see that you have to change rows into columns and you can use, for example, a pivoting transformation. Now to get this to work, you need more, however and it's for you to figure out how you get to this result. Now you need this format to build some visualizations. So as a quick test in the end, you also have to build a bar chart visual that shows the total sales broken down by the different product items. And then you will see that Chicken Tikka Masala is the product that had the highest sales for this restaurant. As always, all of the details you find in the comment section below, as well as on our website, and there's also a link to the data set that you need to solve this challenge with all of the exact requirements. If you run into any issues or you want to get feedback on your solution, then please reach out to us. And we would also like to know how difficult you found the challenge. So please let us know also in the comment section below. And I wish you good luck with this week's challenge.